In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use a, uh, your cu own custom images to make their navigation bar area look exactly how you want it. I spent about two days trying to, to work with the uh, API for the navigation controller, which has changed between 4.3 and iOS 5, and then, then took this different route, which I think is much easier to implement. So I'm starting off with the uh, nav bar, the second nav bar tutorial we made. Um, and my first step it was to import the images I'm going to use for this custom navigation bar area. Uh, you'll have access to these, the, both this file and the images in the downloads I make available for this tutorial. You can see here I've imported uh, three images, a custom back button, a star, and a navigation bar image I'm going to use. My first step is to start with the navigation controller. And over in the attributes, I'm going to uncheck the Shows Navigation Bar uh, checkbox. You'll notice then that both the navigation controller as well as the two view controllers I have on the storyboard, that a navigation bar disappears. I'm also going to delete this Go To 2 button as I'm going to uh, make a button to go to the second view in my navigation control bar area. The next step is to drag an image view to my first view controller. And I'm going to use this image view as my navigation bar. So I'm going to size it to make it look like the navigation bar by setting the X and Y to 0 and 0, and then giving it a full width of 320 pixels and a height of 44, which is the same height that a navigation bar would normally have. And then for the image for this UI image view, I'm going to use the top bar.png, which gives me a funky little uh, navigation bar looking image. I'm going to do the same thing for my second view using the top bar image and then setting it to 0, 0 with 320 and a height of 44. The next thing I'm do, going to do is create a button in this fake navigation bar to take me to the second view. I'm going to drag a normal round rec button up into the navigation bar area and set it to, uh, to the right edge by adjusting its at the uh, measurements to be uh, give it a, a, an X position of 260 and a Y position of 0 and then a width of 60 and a height of 44 again. Then I'm going to change the attributes of this button to be a, of type custom and change the image to be the star image that I imported. Now with this button I can control drag from the button to my second view and create a push segue to push that second view onto the view controller the navigation controller. Finally, because I've created my own uh, navigation controller image up here, I'm also going to have to create a label for it to give it a title. And I'm going to adjust the attributes of this label to make it look like the title that normally comes with the navigation controller. So I've set a width of 100 and a height of 44, and then I'll adjust some of the attribute, other attributes as well. I'll give it the title that I want it to have, view 1. Make the font 25, uh, 25 point font, change the color to white, text color to white, and also give it a shadow. Now if I set the shadow to a vertical offset of negative one, it'll give the, that inset look that looks just like the uh, navigation bar title normally has. And I'm just going to make sure that's centered there in the view controller. Now I want both a label and a button in my second view controller as well, so I'm going to copy and paste some of these over here. Just copy my label control uh, over to the second view controller and center that in here. Change the title to view 2 and then also copy the button. And this time I'm going to put the, copy the button over to the left hand side because this is going to become my back button. I'm just going to change the uh, image that's used in this button to be my back arrow. Now I want to 
I push this second view on top of the view con into the view controller, and I'm going to want to pop it off there. And I can't do that from a storyboard, so I'm going to have to create my own class. So new file is a UI view controller subclass. And I'm going to name this class view two VC. And I don't need an XIB for user user interface because I'm using the storyboard. It doesn't matter really where I save it. And now in this class for the second view controller, I'm going to declare a method uh, to get back to the first view controller. So IB action, go to view one, and then in the implementation file, I'm going to create some space here and then write out this method. Go to view one, and here I can still use the self dot navigation controller because I got the navigation controller there it's just not showing up visually anymore and go pop view controller animated and yes now all I need to do is link up the view controller with the uh, the view controller subclass with the view that's on the storyboard and the buttons as well so selecting the second view controller on the storyboard I'm going to make sure that the uh, View2VC class is used for that view controller. And then after selecting the button, I can go over to the Connections Inspector, select the Touch Up Inside event, and control drag that over to the view controller class and link up that method that I just wrote. Now when I run the application, you'll see that the app functions just like it has a normal view controller. But you and I know that all I really did use, do is use images and buttons to recreate that view controller feel. The benefit to this is that it functions almost exactly like a normal view controller would, but it's much easier for me to lay out exactly how I want the view controller to look without having to worry about the changes that were made in the API implementation for the view controller uh, between iOS 4.3 and 5.0. So that's it. I hope you found that helpful and good luck with your app.